Hey, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get straight into your reading, okay? So we're going to be looking into the area of your personal development and growth. What's coming up for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? Ooh, two of cups, okay. <clears throat> and the five of cups, wow. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the two of wands. All right, interesting collection. Put this up here. <clears throat> let's look at the in the shadows. The message from in the shadows oracle aquarius i hope you're happy i'm happy that it's over i don't really know you wow okay and at the bottom of the deck we've got i took the easy way out okay Interesting. Let's look at the area of your home. The area of the home for Aquarius. Again, the Two of Wands. Interesting. Two of Wands, Two of Wands. Twice. Okay. The Hanged Man. The Knight of Cups. You may have, because you are right next to Capricorn and Zodiac Wheel, you may have Capricorn placements. Um, if you do, like, go look at your natal chart. If you have a Capricorn rising, Capricorn moon, Capricorn Mars, Venus, if you have a stellium there, go look at the Capricorn rising, I mean, Capricorn videos, because there's a little bit of energy here reminiscent of Capricorn. Let's see. Message from the Hidden Truth for Aquarius. I know that I crossed the line with you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you and I'm afraid to contact you. I'm going to put this in over here. Interesting. Let's look at your relationship house. What's going on with Aquarius in relationship? What's going on with Aquarius in the relationship house? We've got judgment, the death card. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the four of cups. Hmm interesting okay let's put this up here and what is the hidden truth wow okay quick i watch your social media i wonder how you feel and i don't know how to feel okay well that's pretty cut and dry <laughs> what about your 10th house what's going on with aquarius's 10th house queen of wands okay Aquarius 10th house. Aquarius 10th house. Aquarius. We've got the two of swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the page of wands. Okay. All right. Now, last but not least, we're going to be using the Entrepreneur Oracle. It doesn't always have to be entrepreneur messages. Sometimes it's about your nine to five. Other times it's about your personal life. So let's see. What are the messages? <clears throat> We've got muse. Take time away from the daily hustle. Give yourself quiet time in nature to muse. Create space for your creativity and fresh ideas will flow. All right. One more, please. One more for Aquarius. entertain your brand should educate and entertain your clients make them smile laugh and feel great when they interact with you and your brand all right and then at the bottom of the deck we've got publish start that book you always wanted to write get your message out and touch people's lives Ooh. okay aquarius all right let's see here <clears throat> so We've, we've got quite a collection here. <coughs> we'll use the clarifiers in part two. So let's get started. <clears throat> um, I feel like you are, this is definitely love related. It's not, I wouldn't always connect these cards to love, but right now I feel like it's definitely connected to love. <clears throat> you are trying to 
pursue a love interest that you once left behind or that you abandoned at some point. <clears throat> Took the easy way out. But whoever this person is, you still hope they're happy. I think for some time, you were telling yourself, that's the Five of Cups. Oh, I'm happy it's over. I don't really know this person. But you're realizing, no, you took the easy way out. And this could also be the person you're dealing with. Right? It, only you know how this relates. But Two of Wands is Aries Mars energy. This is somebody being decisive. Decisive. Somebody has a plan and they're executing it. They already know what they want. They've made a decision. They're moving forward. <laughs> moving forward towards the person that they see as their match. <clears throat> Because it's it's like not being with this person is just causing too much pain, too much grief, too much sorrow. However, again we have the two of wands, but we've got... This is somebody you have on a pedestal in some way. And because you have them on a pedestal, you're... It's like you come in all hot and ready, hot, not hot and ready. That sounds like you're a little Caesar's pizza. Um, <laughs> you, you come in in hot pursuit is what I was trying to say. Um, going after what you want. But then when you get there, you're like, oh my God. Oh my God. You're afraid to contact them. You procrastinate because you're afraid to... Let this person know how you feel. <clears throat> you feel like you crossed some sort of line. You're you're staying awake, anxiously thinking about are they going to reject you? Are they are they going to give you space to express yourself? Four of Cups. <sighs> you're you're definitely in the area of this is the the one that got away for you. <clears throat> you want to bring it back to life. Now, the death card here tells me that this ending was painful. It felt brutal, but it needed to happen. This is Pluto energy. Transformation needed to happen. So now you, you watch this person's social media. You don't know how to feel because you don't know how they feel. So you're not sure if you should give up hope. You're not sure if you should be in despair or what if they do accept you? Then you'll be joyful, then you'll be happy. So you're like, your your emotions are dependent on how this person's gonna react to you. That's why you're so nervous because you, there's such a high, uh, what, what should I call it? Um, oh, there's, there's so much riding on this, let me put it that way. There's a lot riding on this person's reaction Because two times you're like, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and they're like, I can't do it. I'm afraid. You're watching them, but you're like, I can't do it. Which is not very much like a craze. You guys are, are very, you're ruled by Saturn and Uranus. You're free spirits. You do whatever the fuck you want. But right now you're, you really, here's the thing about Aquarius that I've noticed. You guys love humanity but it's not often that you respect humanity because you do see humanity's flaws so whoever this person is you have them on a pedestal and that's unusual for you that is not your normal mo and it makes you nervous it puts you in this place of <clears throat> yeah I'm, I'm feeling like a uh, like you're you get really nervous around this person so you don't even know what to do. Now, in your 10th house, you show up with Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Two of Swords. See, this is somebody, I'm telling you, you look up to this person. You feel like a, a page around them. You feel uh, like you are, yeah, you feel small next to them. And you, I won't, they're, they're not making you feel that way. I'm not saying that they're making you feel this way. You feel this way next to them. You see them. Like, Queen of Wands, you think that this person is sexy as hell. And this isn't about male or female. It's just, it's an energy. You find, you put this person on this pedestal. You think that they're mysterious and sexy. And 
But because they're mysterious and sexy with the Two of Swords, you don't know, again, you don't know how they feel. You don't know what results will, will come from you stepping forward. So Page of Wands tells me you are going to step out of your comfort zone. You are going to say something, but you are, I feel like you're terrified at the same time. <clears throat> now, for those of you, I feel like there's a, a select group I'm talking to with the published book. Some of you are writing a book. I feel like all, the, all three of those cards are connected. You're in the middle of writing a book. You're taking time away from other things. It could be that the time that <laughs> in between contacting this person, the time that you don't contact them, you write. I feel like the book that you're writing has a lot to do with this person. It's giving you advice here. Make sure you're entertaining. Make sure that your, your book, and it doesn't have to be a book. This could be a um, like, I mean, it doesn't have to be like a novel. This could be a biography, autobiography. This could be a book of poetry. This could be a comic book. This could be whatever it is. Make sure that you include things that make people smile and laugh. And you know that thing about people don't remember what you did, but they remember how they felt around you? Bring that energy into whatever it is you're writing. Make sure that when they walk away from whatever it is you wrote, they feel like they're growing. They feel enlightened. They feel, they feel better about themselves and their life choices. And they're like, they're, you're teaching them something, but it's in a way that's entertaining. So those are for those of you where that applies. <clears throat> um, let's, I know that this is a little, I want to clarify, but that's going to be in part two. So if you want to see the clarification, clarifiers, please make sure you sign up with the uh, link down below. And I will talk to you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.